Gospel of the Lord, December the 8th, 2013, Matthew 3, 1, 12. In due course, John the Baptist appeared. He proclaimed his message in the desert of Judea. Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is closed at hand. This was the man spoken of by the prophet Isaiah when he said, A voice of one that cries in the desert, prepare a way for the Lord, make his paths straight. This man John wore a garment made of camel hair, with a leather loincloth round his waist, and his foot, and his foot was locusts and wild honey. Then Jerusalem and all Judea and the whole Jordan district married their way to him, as they were baptized by him in the river Jordan, they confessed their sins. But when he saw a number of Pharisees and Sadducees coming for baptism, he said to them, Brute of vipers, who warns you to flee from the coming retribution, produce fruit in keeping with repentance, and do not presume to tell yourselves, We have Abraham as our father, because I tell you, God can raise children for Abraham from these stones. Even now the axe is being laid to the root of the trees, so that any tree failing to produce good fruit will be cut down and thrown on the fire. I baptize you in water for repentance, but the one who comes after me is more powerful than I am, and I am not fit to carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fan is in his hand. He will clear his threshing floor and gather his wheat onto, into his war, barn, but the chaff he will burn in a fire that will never go out. Gospel of the Lord, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We are entering the second Sunday of Advent, only four Advent Sundays to prepare for the common birthday of our Lord, Christmas. And today we are presented with the figure of John the Baptist, of whom the prophet Isaiah had said 600 years before, a voice of one that cries in the desert. Why does he have to cry in the desert? Because there is no one to hear, almost no one. Prepare the way for the Lord, make his paths straight. He was preaching a baptism of conversion. So as they were baptized in the river, they confessed their sins. And even he says, I, I baptized you with repentance, but you have to produce fruit in keeping with repentance. The first action for us to receive our Lord is to repent, is to recognize ourselves as sinners and to repent from our sins, to ready ourselves for the Lord to, clear, to cleanse us. Many people went to see him and got baptized as a preparation for the coming of the Lord. But then he sees the Pharisees and Sadducees coming for the baptism, and he calls them brute of vipers, and he warns them, produce fruit in keeping with repentance. Do not presume to tell yourselves we have Abraham as our father. And this too is actual for us Catholics, Catholics, it is not enough to have been baptized in the Holy Spirit, in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. It is not enough, because we have received so much, and we have to produce what is due out of what, what, out of what we have received. See how he says what is the most important thing. The axe is being laid on to the root of the trees, so that any tree failing to produce good fruit will be cut down and thrown on the fire. Anyone who does not produce good fruit, because the Lord is coming to gather his wheat into his barn, but the chaff will be burning in a fire that will never go out. Now I ask you, on which side would you rather be? On the wheat into his barn or on the chaff? That will be burning forever. It is not enough, like I, like I said, just to get baptized. It is not enough 
to attend Mass. You have to produce the good fruit. And good fruit in these times is the loving actions, is alms, is the visit of the sick, of the incarcerated, is the sharing of your food and water, is the sharing of your clothing and your house. That is exactly what we need to produce to produce good fruit, to be wheat. It is the offering of our own into the hands of the Father through His Son. But that has to produce in reality, not just in our conscience, lest we become like the Pharisees and Sadducees that used to say we have Abraham as our father. We could say we have been baptized. But if we don't do good things, then what fruit are we to show the Lord when He comes? Let us humbly ask our Father to help us produce those good deeds that we might present Jesus Christ on His birthday. A repentance a heart that has been repent, repented, the conscience and the readiness to be cleansed of our sins, and also a good deeds, so that in his coming, in his birthday, he might receive at least some present from us, at least some. That great is our Lord, in recognizing even our small efforts, and he will bless you and all our brothers and me for every effort that we have, that we strive to do. God bless you all, brothers.